Wow, it's been a long time since I've done a video. And what better time to reboot this channel than to uh, count down to the Recon G6. So a lot has happened since the last video. I don't even remember what my last video was, to be honest. And uh, let's just face it, life gets in the way. However, the crawling has not stopped. No, no, that will never stop. Not anytime soon, anyways. But I just had no time to edit videos, upload videos, and record videos, all that jazz. It goes with YouTube. <sighs> Not saying I have time now, however. Uh, we are officially two days out from the Recon G6. And, well, technically, I only have one day left to prepare. Now, I've been preparing for this for some time now, but now it's crunch time. So, as you can see, this is my Viterra Ascender. It used to be yellow, um, and then it went to another body. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you will see that this is not the body that was on the truck. This is an unreleased body from yours truly. Um, there's a little bit of a backstory why we got this body on this truck. And uh, I will do an update video later on once I have more time. But right now, like I said, it's crunch time for the Recon G6. We got headlights in this this guy now. Still got the, the light bar. But, so the next couple videos, it's all going to be about Recon G6. And I'm going to um, do my best to get footage out there. Don't mind my organized chaos. So, over in another part of the house here, um, we got a little bit of an assembly point here, minus the... Uh, Baby dolls, daughter toys. Um, let me just move this guy. Some people may recognize the old Deadbolt body. Deadbolt got a new look for 2019. There's Big Blue. And my son's TRX4 Sport. Big Blue is another TRX4. There's the Cheater Porter Axles under there. Uh, my ammo box. It's holding all the batteries. Like I said, some of you might recognize the deadbolt from last season. And uh, wash basin, got a camel back for water on the trails. Winch controllers, much needed bug spray this time of year. I'm sure the black flies are going to be carrying off small children. Got some tunes for the uh, campground. You know, not going to blast anything. Too crazy. Cell service is a little sketchy, so uh, getting weather reports and stuff, this is going to be handy as well. Alright, this is sort of my uh, mobile pit station. Um, it's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but this is what keeps our trucks going on the trails all weekend. Uh, like I said, it's a mess at the moment. I just sort of cleaned off my workbench, threw it all in here for now gonna organize that later underneath that's uh, this is the parts box I take with me on the trail I stick it in my uh, my trail bag it's got a bunch of various parts in there got some tires a load of batteries extra radio my jack stand so that's all good I'm not gonna get too into too much detail I need to get a new new uh, toolbox it's a little little Showing its age. Alright, this is my son's little toolbox for his truck. Um, nothing of great importance in there. He just likes feeling important and having his own toolbox. Hey, and hey, all the power to him. You know, he, he enjoys this hobby as much as I do. So let's make him feel important too. So, so here we have a uh, nightmare of wires. This is my new dual charger, which I'll do... Uh, video on that since I'm rebooting the channel really handy cuts down on time if you can charge more than one battery in one shot this is the old charger I've been using for quite some time um, it's nothing fancy it's a single regular old charger uh, this one I, I like to call cranky because this fan when you as soon as you turn it on it just makes a god awful noise hold on I'll, I'll let you uh, no, never mind. I'll do that another time. We don't have time. Um, balance boards. 
anybody that knows the hobby knows what those are. I use these squid things, right? Because instead of swapping out cables all the time, I have pretty much every connector I could possibly need. Uh, laptop, self-explanatory. Uh, lipo bags, very very important when we're charging. Be safe. You don't want to cause any unnecessary fires. Um, they won't prevent a fire, but it will somewhat contain a fire and give, hopefully give you time to do something. So, f so for today's uh, plan of attack, because tomorrow I'm on a field trip with my son, uh, it leaves me very little time to to finish my final preparations. So I believe we're going over to Ashley. She is a new teammate on the Trail Critter crew. And uh, she's joining us this year at the Recon G6. Whoop, whoop. Um, we're hoping that she will fire up her cricket decal maker thing. And uh, we'll add some some love to this, this guy and a few of the other rigs. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, countdown to Recon G6.